to She's a Bee on She Back with another vlog. I know it's been a while since I did a vlog in a while. But I went to TJ Maxx today and I got I got some stuff that I want to show you guys. And I want to talk about self-doubt and like just some and just some random topics that's like that's like hot topics that everybody talking about right now. But first I go show you what I got my TJ Maxx haul. This just a small haul. I got this B No Super Heavy Gauge Piva Shower Liner and it's eco friendly. It's eco friendly and it's water resistant, mildew resistant, and way bottom hem. And you could use has liner or a standalone curtain and it's 70 inches wide by 72 inches height. And that's what it looks like. And this was $5.99. The next thing that I'm pulling out of my bag is the shirt that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Hold on. See guys, isn't that cute? The shirt is got the buttons right here and it was oh no you can't I know you can't see that but it was twelve ninety nine. I didn't want to pass up on that and it's in the it's in the large i didn't de i definitely didn't want to pass up on that the next thing i was excited about that they still had at at tj maxx was this always in the body shop it's the body shop aloe soothing night cream and it's formulated for sensitive skin this is what it looks like and it's a 1.7 ounces and i'm going to give this a try if i like it i'm gonna score a I'm going to buy from the actual body shop if I like this for the night time. And this is $5.99. Okay. The next thing I saw this at the checkout is Buy's Best Tea Candy. And it says, the taste of a refreshing brand of citrus and green tea in the delicious candy. And you get 42 in here. And I got some vitamin E nail and cuticle oil, and it helps strengthen and nourish nails and cuticles. And this is what it looks like. And it's a zero, it's a zero point forty five fluid ounces. And the last thing I got was uh, I wanted to try this out, and I looked it up online, and I heard good reviews on it. And it's the Shea Moisture. Her jojoba oil and apple, you you cuba butter, braid up and take down the tangler with kerosene oil, and it says prime and V style cornrows, box braids, weaves and extensions, and it's for protective styles. And I was very really excited to find this, and this is sulfate free and color safe, and it's eight fluid ounces, and. I can't wait I can't wait to try that out. So I'm pretty excited that I found that. Oh saw you guys. Oh saw you guys. Um I forgot to say that the cuticle oil it was two nine nine and the Shea Moisture the Tangler stuff that was three nine nine. I'm sorry about that you guys. And now I'm gonna talk about self doubt. Like self doubt is when you you have like a lack of confidence in yourself and you start to you're starting to have doubts in your mind about how you feel about yourself and the way you think and everything. And I felt like this like my whole life in which I felt very, I don't know, I can't explain it, but growing up, I always felt insecure what people said about me. I didn't know why, but I just felt so hurt inside, like... Growing up, a lot of people didn't want to hang about me because I was, I was far, I was geeky, and I just like focusing on like my schoolwork and everything, and I felt very insecure about that for years. And you know, I go give you some tips in which how you could overcome that. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, one step you could do is say stop, like. If you have inner doubts, like you have to like encourage yourself. Don't think negative, just think positive. And you could do almost anything you put your mind to. And you can't let 
yourself it can't let yourself do that to yourself because if you do then you know you will fight that fight your whole life so I had the curse to do that for myself in which I had to learn how to you know feel that way about myself feeling positive about everything and the second thing you could do you could look to the past and wash yourself in the memories and what that means you you just be involved with yourself and you just ask yourself like if you fear something or you doubt yourself about something or you just like took action for it like how you handled the situation that you felt like you let you fight that for yourself and everything and you know it just it just feel like a monster inside you you just it's like you you feel confident in doing something but then it's just nagging at you like you can't do this you can't do that and then this inner voice inside you just say that you could do it you believe in yourself and i had to learn how to believe myself growing up because growing up it wasn't easy for me it was kind of rough at times so yeah and you could also talk to someone about like if you just want to talk to a friend or any or your mom or your dad or anybody just don't keep it all in like you could talk to god too that helps too so talk to your friends or your family and talking to god that all helps because you have like a big support system and doing all that because if you keep it bought up inside it can make you sick or or you feel stressed out and you don't need that in your life so that's good for you guys to know and what i started to do again i started keeping up with with writing down with my journal if i feel tense about something or if you have something on your mind that you want to get out like it's really good to like let that out because you feel so much better you guys like you feel absolutely better about the way you see things in the world and how 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 much you experience in your life to overcome all the good times the bad times and you just learn how to do your situation as you get older the more that you have more experience so you can help somebody else with this so and the last thing I want to the last thing you could also do that really helped me that really helped me over the years that you get you get a boost of optimism you just have to stay focused on just listen to something positive like like a podcast or audiobook something that's positive like I love I love Joe Osteen he's just very enlightened and TD TD Jakes and you know just to just to name two people that I love listen to and it's just really helpful when you when you think about like yourself like in a positive light don't ever like feel like you down yourself like even going to school or finish even going to college or you know try to get a new job or you have a new baby or you know marriage or even divorce they were experienced with my parents it was it was hard that I got over that and every time something bad would happen I would focus on like the positivity that came out of and my mom is no longer like being miserable she's focused on me and my two younger sisters and this happened when I was in ninth grade and everything and how I overcame that being being the kid part of my parents divorce and you know I felt like it was my fault and everything but I had to learn that it wasn't my fault my dad messed up it wasn't me that was on his behalf so even growing up in school and stuff I I didn't really like going to school that much because people used to tease me constantly about thinking I was better than them even though I wasn't and I was just I just like helping people I like touring people and with especially with computers and everything and I just always love doing that for for people like I don't know why I always had this special gift of helping people with computers and 
my dad taught me when I was seven and I've been loving it ever since so I found something good in me that I want to have have you guys have some inspiration that everybody is good at something don't ever doubt yourself that I have just happened to be good with computers and I'm very good at people getting advice from me at times and you know and I just always like helping people because of the same experience that I'm talking to you guys about. It can help somebody else watching this video because I know what that feels like to feel like you fight nobody like you. And then when, when you get friends and you know, cause they like you for you, not for being somebody that you're not, you, you know what I mean? And the last thing I want to talk about is the certain current events that's going on that I want to talk to you guys about. That was really exciting. Well, okay, you guys, I know you guys, some of you guys probably watched the Super Bowl this Sunday. I wasn't really into it. Like, I only watched, like, the, I watched some of the game and I saw the halftime show. I mean, I love Maroon 5, but... It was okay, but, you know, I mean, it was different than it was, like, you know, last year and stuff, so, you know. Then you're talking about Meghan Markle, how they, they trashing her, and they, they making, like, bad comments about her, and just leave her alone. Like, she just... She just love helping people, and it's like they try to find some way to like make her look like bad, like she's a bad person, but she's not. Like you guys, what if that was you? Like, leave her alone. Oh, and then the young Levasseur star Christoph Saint John passed away at fifty-two years old. He was on Young Levasseur's and. My mom said he, I didn't know that he's been an actor since he was a child. And just to be shocked that he he was about my mom's age. He's 52, my mom 54. And I, I know that his son passed away. His son died from suicide five years ago. And I know he was very depressed about that. And I really think he died of a broken heart. That's, like, very sad. And then 21 Savage, like, he might get the poor because of his visa because he was born in the, the UK. And I didn't know he was from the UK. I was very shocked about that. So they might be the poor in him and everything. And then, you know, with the government opening up again, and then on Donald Trump said on February 15th, then about the um, wall, if the, they don't have the funding for the wall or something like that, they said that they probably have to shut down the government again or save an emergency, which is really crazy. Like, I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but I hope it don't be bad again. You have no idea, I feel super, super happy. And I hope you, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat as she's a beauty OMG. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.